Hello everyone, this is Sebastiano of Codihouse.co and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the typography editor, which is a web design tool that can be used to set the typography of your web project based on the Codihouse framework. Right, so once again you have a way to build uh, visually uh, your typography system and then you can uh, uh, copy the SCSS and paste it into the typography.scss file of the framework. Okay, so first of all we're looking at the general section of this tool and right here you have a list of the font families in use and then you have another section which uh, is helpful for font pairing where you have a heading element and a body element and then you can i'm going to show you how you can um, uh, apply different font families to headings and body and so that you can see here how they look like when used together so first of all let me show you how you can add more font families well you can do this uh, very easily by clicking here in the font family section. So you can, you can click on the add icon and by doing so you have now a font secondary. Now you can change this name obviously and then you can change this value as well. So for example, let me change this from sans serif to serif. Now you can see right here we have another font family. Nothing is changing, is changing here because I haven't applied this font family to any of the elements of my typography. But if I go, if I click on heading and I switch this value here from font primary and now I have also font secondary. If I click here, now you can see now that in this section I can see uh, one font family applied to the heading and another one to the body. And I can use custom fonts as well. So this part here is used for embedding a custom font. So let me show you how you can apply a Google font. You could just copy this link here and place it here. And then you can click on the font family name. Oops. And then you can replace this value here. There you go. Now you have that uh, PT serif is applied to the heading elements. So you have two families, one is sans serif, and then you have the other one which is PT serif with a fallback serif. Perfect. Uh, you can click on these elements as well, adding and body, and you can set specific rules for these elements, like for example, uh, the heading. Let's say, for example, that I want to make the font weight bold. Well, I can just enter bold here and uh, now the heading is bold. It's very simple. But let's say, for example, that uh, I want the heading to become bold past a specific media query. So this icon here can be used to set uh, responsive rules. So let me remove bold from here. I can click on this icon and now I have a, a, sorry, a responsive rule. So what I'm doing here, we, I can select a specific media query, for example, this is the small media query and the application is suggesting me, which is um, about um, 600 pixels. So what I'm entering here, these values are going to affect the typography past 600 pixels. And I can enter here bold. I could change line height as well, but I'm sticking just with the, a, a change in font weight. If I look at the preview right here, now if I resize the window, you can see that, you can check by the way, the media query, uh, the current media query here in the top right corner. Now you can see the font is no longer bold, the heading, but when I go past 600 pixels, it becomes bold. And I could do the same for the body as well. I can change font weight, I can change line height, I can even change the font family past a specific media query. You can remove, by the way, a, a responsive rule just by clicking delete. Okay, so now one cool thing is that when you save these changes, you're actually modifying the Codehouse components as well. 
So for example, I have this component, but now that the new typography system has been saved, if I refresh the page, now you can see the heading has changed. Now the new font is PT Serif. So when you make changes here and you save these changes, you can see uh, how the components uh, have been updated as well.